That's an amazing shot. Got it? Yep. The entire ribeye, the best of the best Kobe beef. Wow. Hey everyone, it's Mark Weens. Good morning from Phuket. We are staying at a place called Tipanwa. And this is day number two. We are gonna basically just hang out and relax all day and do some eating. But tonight is the main event, is the Wagyu Mafia beef event, which I am really looking forward to. Uh, but for now, we're gonna go have breakfast real fast. It's about 7 a.m. We're gonna have breakfast right here at the hotel. They have a full selection of different curries, Southern Thai curries, and a full buffet up at the front. Uh, basically, all kinds of breakfast delicacies you could possibly want, but then they also have a menu where you order eggs. Decided to start off with their um, their signature Baba Eggs Benedict. I'm gonna have this first before I eat some curries. And also, coffee. Gotta have coffee. Oh yeah, that's a really good Americano. Let me break into this yolk. Oh yes, this one is proper, proper yolk. The other one is a little bit over, overcooked. But this yolk is beautiful. Oh, and there's a piece of uh, maybe bacon, bacon down there. Oh yeah, that is a very soothing, soothing egg dish. Any chance that I have to eat crab, Southern Thai crab curry for breakfast, I'm very happy. And it looks wonderful, just loaded with crab meat. I also got some beef and some cabbage, and just a little bit of rice. Oh wow. Oh, oh it's really good. Mm. Oh, just boneless. Nuggets of crab. What a way to start the day. Next course I went with a lot of fruits and vegetables, the salad course, and then just a few pieces of cheese and some chorizo for good measure. I really love bell peppers. Dragon fruit. We've been having a very leisurely morning, and now I am walking over to David's room because David has this unbelievable view and a swimming pool at his room. Oh wow, this room is spectacular and this pool with the view, it's gorgeous. Okay, just to tell you the rough plan of the day, we're gonna hang out and then for lunch, we're going into Phuket town to eat at a restaurant, which is a very well-known Southern Thai restaurant. And I think we're just gonna come back to the hotel, hang out, have a nice leisurely afternoon. And then tonight is another main food event, uh, which I am ecstatic about. And we'll be having some of the, the ultimate best Wagyu beef uh, from Wagyu Mafia. We just took the drive into Phuket town and we're eating lunch at a restaurant called Raya. This is a legendary Southern Thai food restaurant. And Ying and I have been here a couple times before when we've been in Phuket town, but we're here with a whole crew. We're here with Wagyu Mafia and Chef Sato. We got Gung uh, Pad Sata Kapi, which is shrimp stir fried with shrimp paste and lots of stink beans. And then one of the signature dishes here is called Mu Hong, which is a, a braised pork dish. And then we also got Geng Bu, I think with Bai Chaplu, which is a, a crab nugget curry with Bai Chaplu, which is wild beetle leaves. Let me start with those stink beans. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, it's so good. Let me try the, the muhong pork. Oh. It's so tender. And then you can taste all the, the Chinese five spice uh, flavors in there. You can taste garlic, you can taste black pepper. It's delicious. I didn't get to show you that much of it because we were hanging out and conversing, but it was a great lunch and great to hang out with uh, everybody that we ate with. Made it back to the hotel after lunch. Baby is just taking a nap, so I'm gonna head down to the beach. 
Oh, really cool. You have to walk on a, there's a jungle canopy. And check out the size of these taro leaves. These are giants. They're also sometimes called elephant ears because they're so big and look like elephant ears. Oh, look at that view of the beach down there. A nice little private beach. And it's just a little cove of a beach too because uh, Sipanwa is, it takes up the, the whole ridge area and then it's mostly rocky. Um, and that's why you have such spectacular views, but then there's just this little patch of sand right here. Whoa. You gotta have good balance on this thing though. Oh, that's amazing. Actually, Wagyu Mafia, they are uh, expert dealers in Wagyu, but then they, uh, they, as their popularity rose, they decided to open their own pop-up restaurant, and now they have a full restaurant in Japan, uh, but they're real purveyors of the best of the best quality of beef. So they're gonna serve us a full menu uh, of different courses, and the first course that they're serving us is homemade beef jerky with a Ozaki Beef A5 BMS8. And it's just a thin strip, but you can see that marbling just on that thin piece of beef jerky. Mm. Oh. It's very light and spice, but really, really fragrant. It's salty, you can taste the pepper in there. And then there's a little bit of a, an oil sauce. Oh, wow. That is a stunning first bite. Thank you. For the next course, it is uh, a type of types of sate, two types of sate, uh, which are kind of a, a combination of Japanese wagyu with Thai flavor style sate. So I'll start with uh, this skewer. Oh, it's so beefy tasting and so juicy. Whoa. I think that's that just is pure fat, I think, and it just melts in your mouth. Oh, and it's so flavorful, it's so fragrant. That is amazing. I want you to squeeze your chopsticks and uh Eat it with a, um, iceberg stuff. It's a Thai Japanese invention or fusion uh, with wagyu beef, but a uh, type of kapao, which is uh, stir fried with holy basil. And then he put a, they, they poached an egg yolk and stuck the egg yolk on top. And Chef has instructed us to pinch the egg yolk with our chopsticks and break that egg yolk all over the meat below. Oh, 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 that yolk, that yolk is just perfect. You just stick your chopsticks onto it and it just sort of, it's sort of, you can feel it wiggling around. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, that's just perfect yolk. Perfect yolk. Oh, it's oozing all over. That yolk is actually perfect. It's just like a, a runny, like, thick, rich sauce. Okay, oh, wow. Next course, we are on to an Ozaki beef tendon. It's like a reinvention of a Tom Yum Kung. It's kind of cold and looks kind of jellyish in the, you kind of want to scoop it up almost like a pudding because you can see all the, there's chunks of tendon in it. Oh. Oh yeah, there's like little tender nuggets of meat and tendon in there. It's just really good. That's like a that's like a beef pudding. Mm. Okay. Thank you. So that's. Uh, Done by prepared by uh, Sato san. Okay. So it's a like total co collaboration. This is this is Misuji shoulder cloth, uh, oyster blade. 
from Ozaki beef. A piece of sushi, a, a beef sushi. And it is it is one of the most beautiful things that I've ever seen in my life. It, it almost looks like pure fat with just a little bit of meat in it. And actually, as it sits on my plate, it actually looks like it's starting to just melt. <laughs> melt, just in the in the the natural air, it's starting to melt. This thing is is a beauty. <laughs> Oh, you do not want to swallow that bite. It just keeps on releasing beef juices. Next course is takoyaki, but this is a, a wagyu ribeye ball. So it is, uh, there's a batter and then it's all encrusting a little piece of ribeye. Then there are some, I think they're bonito flakes and then some other light seasonings on it. Mm. It's like a batter ball. It's like a comforting ball. And then, and that beef in there is so soft that it like blends in with a batter. Oh, it's ridiculously soft. It was so soft that I barely even tasted the beef at first. The next course I think is going to be grilled beef on a mukatao and it is a hot griddle and then they, the, the actual broth is made from Kobe beef bones and then they sprinkle some vegetables in it. They put a giant chunk of wagyu fat on top and then we're going to be grilling up slices of, of wagyu beef. So this is one of the most luxurious, gourmet, and just outrageously, insanely awesome mukata that has ever, maybe has ever been prepared, ever. My recommendation is don't get too well, right? Okay. Make, make the bread. We all got bowls of the, the mukata with a slice of beef and then vegetables. And I, actually, I want to just taste that broth first. Wow, <laughs> that's so meaty, perfect. Mmm. They added in some nice chilies in there too. Oh, flaming Ozaki beef, steaming Ozaki beef. Oh yeah, you could just eat bowls of it. The whole plate. Mmm. <laughs> Reserve. That, that must be reserved. Yeah, that must be reserved. Yeah, that's fine. Please. <laughs> yeah. So this is the uh, level five ribeye again. Center ribeye. Yeah. Thank you, Chef. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. I love you. I love you. I love you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, 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 oh. Hey. Thank you. This is the first piece. How is it? Well, tonight. How is it? You just want to keep it in your mouth. Oh. The best of the best of the Kobe beef. Oh. The best of the best of Kobe beef? It's the eye of the ribeye. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> this is the main course of the night and it is the best of the best of Kobe beef, a ribeye, and it's a whole hunk. Yep. Oh yeah, look at that, look at that light on there. Oh, it's dripping with juices. Mmm. <laughs> We have to try, I can't tell, but like, it's really good. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take a piece. Wow. I'm gonna dip a little bit in salt. <laughs> it is ridiculous. It's something that you never want to leave your mouth, ever. You want to keep it in your mouth forever. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.
Next course is uh, a Wagyu ramen. Well, what did he do to you? Mm, and what they did, I think, is they boiled it in, in Wagyu broth. Wow. Has an amazing beefy smell to it. Oh. Mm. oh, it's beefy and garlicky. This is an extra dish that they made, and it is a, a tom yum um, with Wagyu, which I can definitely say I've never had before. Oh, 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 that beef just melts in your mouth. Oh, wow. Oh, that is amazing. And this is the final course, which is dessert. Uh, there is mochi rice surrounding by some kind of a, I think it's mango? I think it's mango. It's a little rice ball. It's very sticky, and there's some coconut on the outside as well. Mm. Oh yeah, the rice is really sticky and gummy. And then inside is like a like a pudding, a mango pudding with coconut shreds on top. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Wow. Just made it back to the hotel after one of the most stunning meals I've ever had in my life. That beef, oh, and in particular the ribeye, the Kobe beef ribeye. I cannot even explain the sensation of that meat dissolving on your tongue. It's, it's, it's like you're in a different world. And so I want to say a big thank you to Wagyu Mafia. I want to say a big thank you to David Khalifa. He's the one that organized this whole pop-up and he is the hungry tourist on Instagram. I'll leave his link in the description box below. And then I want to say a big thank you to Kun Blawan and Sipanwa Hotel and the entire team uh, for hosting us. And also I want to say thank you to you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'd love to hear from you in the comment section below as well. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe now. Uh, I'll be sharing with you lots more food and travel videos. Goodbye from Phuket. And I'll see you on the next video.